Mazel Tov, 8th grade. Yivarechecha Hashem v'yishmerecha. Hashem should give you all the brachot in the world and protect you. Ya'er Hashem panave lecha v'chuneka. Hashem should share his light upon you and should give you favors. Yisa Hashem panave lecha v'yasem lecha shalom. Hashem should go and lift his face upon you. May you always feel the guiding beautiful light of Hashem and have with yourselves the bracha of shalom. Mazel tov to the eighth grade. Hi, my name is Mrs. Weizmann, and I'm here to tell you why Ariela Rusi is a wonderful student at our school. It is very important for Ariel to completely understand all of the details of anything that he is learning. This midah is important for being successful in life because only after you have a deep understanding of what you have learned, you can internalize what you have learned and make it a part of yourself and then you can utilize these skills in life. אריאל, בהצלחה בהמשך. It is always a pleasure to teach students like Rebecca. Rebecca always impresses me with her diligent work habits, enthusiastic approach to any problem and her exemplary behavior. I will always remember her very cool science fair project in which she showcased the effect of temperature on the color of ultraviolet beads. She did an amazing job with all of her research and found some fascinating results. I will miss my young scientist next year. Have a great summer and good luck in upper school. Hi, my name is Roy Weissman and I'm here to talk about Akiva Berkowitz. Akiva is a true Kiddush Hashem. He's someone who really has all the values that our school stands for. He's a mensch. I've gotten to know him through the hallways, through davening, through Jewish history. He's someone who's always just wants to know and, and ask great questions and is always there for his friends. He's someone who's going to go very far in life, and I wish Akiva much Hatzlach in high school. It is always a pleasure to teach students like Danielle. I remember this year how she always came to class with a big smile on her face and the most positive attitude. Uh, even more important is Danielle's creativity, which really shines when she writes stories, or especially when she writes scripts and performs in them uh, during class performances. I wish her much success next year in the upper school and a very, very nice summer. Hi, my name is Mrs. Weitzman, and I am here to tell you why Naomi Bloch is a wonderful student at our school. Naomi has the midah of staying true to herself. I know this because I have seen Naomi stay focused on her goals and I have seen her stay true to her beliefs without being influenced by her friends. Uh, this quality is important for being successful in life because when you believe in your goals and you pursue them, nothing will stand in your way. Naomi, batzlacha. The Mishnah in Pirkei Avot tells us that we should drink the words of the Chachamim with thirst. Mayor Broder exemplifies that. Mayor is so excited to learn and is full of ideas how to solve problems the Gemara, the Gemara presents and is interested in all the ideas of halacha and minhag. Mayor, I hope your creativity and curiosity continue and that you continue to be such a source of nachat to me, to the entire school, and to yourself. I first met Muki Hamdi when he came in as a new student from Baltimore in my seventh grade Hamash class. Muki is a very talented and friendly guy who's al who almost always has a smile on his face and truly wants to succeed. It was amazing to see how quickly Muki became part of not only our class but of his grade and the school. And given the ride from Baltimore back and forth every day, it's not easy. This year in eighth grade, Muki has been an important part of our class. Whether he was eating a stack of pancakes as large as his face, as part of the Brachot Initiative, or consuming piles of Oreos for doing Shnaya Mikra every week with such regularity, he always took pride 
in his accomplishments, not just for the eating, but also for the brachot and for the Torah that he learned. His comments, his great sense of humor, uh, always looking to make a connection between what he learns and how he lives, and the amazing friendships that he shares with his classmates have made him a very memorable student. And I wish Mookie, you, the best of luck in the upper school and beyond. It is always a pleasure to teach people like Panina Dykeman. I'm Pamela Hutka and I'm her English teacher. This year, Panina has challenged herself so much and has grown as a writer and a reader and a thinker. She asks excellent questions and always demands the best of me. I hope she always demands the best of herself as well. Good luck next year, Panina. My name is Shana Spalter and I teach eighth grade boys Navi. I'm here to talk about Ezra Diamond. Ezra Diamond has a big hunger for food, to keep his growing body going, and for knowledge. He asks many questions because he wants to be sure that he understands what is, he is learning. Ezra, in high school, keep questioning your teachers, and I'm sure with your many questions will come many answers, and that you will certainly grow. Mira will one day be a famous doctor, and I will tell people that I was her teacher. Mira loves learning and gets excited every time we start something new. It is always exciting to see her mind in action. We will miss her next year. Have a great summer, Mira, and good luck in upper school. My name is Reedy Isser, and I'm here to talk to you about a wonderful student in our middle school, Orly Fowler. Orly did a wonderful job on the Hebrew play Hayaladim Merachov Mapo. Everyone knows what a wonderful Hebrew student and an incredible actress Orly is, and she truly proved it as Gavar advice in Hayaladim Merachov Mapo. On a personal note, I often see her on Shabbat morning coming to her aunt's house in order to come and help with her little cousin. It's such a wonderful thing to see her walking her little cousin to shul or to groups. It always warms my heart. Orly, you'll be sorely missed in the middle school next year. I wish you had Slachara Ba in the upper school next year. Hi, my name is Shana Spalter, and I'm an eighth grade boys Navi teacher. I'm here to talk about Benjamin Feld. Benjamin is a quiet scholar who loves to read historical novels and books. I was very happy to discover when I was getting, uh, giving away uh, much of my Shalach Manos, his great love for tea. Maybe tea goes together with books. I want to wish Ben much good health next year and know that with his thirst for knowledge, he will continue to grow. Hi, I'm Rabbi Shlomo Buxbaum. I teach Ayelet Fishman in eighth grade Navi. And Ayelet is just so energetic and bright and fun. And we'll be in the middle of learning Navi and she'll ask a question which is somewhat relevant to the Navi. And the whole class will just get involved because of that positive energy that she has. Ayelet, keep on asking those great questions that will get you far in life and you'll do amazing in everything that you do. gives me a lot of pleasure to speak to you about one of my favorite Talmidos, Gila Gershman. Gila, as most teachers know, is a pretty quiet girl, although when she's got something to say, it's worth listening to because it's pretty good. But her friends know that when Gila's around them, she's quite lively and always has something nice to say about everybody. Gila. We wish you the best of Hatzlacha upstairs, but you know, you and your friends, come down whenever you can. When I think of Sammy Glassman, I imagine that in a bunch of years I'll be teaching current events and Sammy will be the topic of the article. He'll be the first Orthodox Jew, actually not the first, 
but an Orthodox Jew that is arguing a case in front of the Supreme Court. Sammy has strong opinions and a quick mind. He's headed for big things. We'll miss him in the middle school next year. Hatzlacha. My name is Rabbi Weissman, and I'm here to talk about Mayor Goldsmith. Uh, Mayor is a new addition to our school this year, but he's already had a great impact. Uh, I've gotten to know Mayor through our bus rides, uh, back and forth from Baltimore every day, and also in Jewish history class. Something that stands out uh, to me about Mayor is that he's really a great friend. I see that he's somebody who's always very giving and who really models relationships for others, that he understands that to be a friend is not just about taking, but it's about giving and being there. And he always just walks around the hallways with a simcha sachaim, with a big smile on his face. Good luck next year in high school. If someone in our school needs a helping hand, Leora is always one of the first students to volunteer. Not only does Leora know the importance of lending a hand, but she does it happily and efficiently. Leora, we will miss you next year. Bats in the upper school. Judah, you'll be sorely missed in the middle school next year, and I will await your positive demeanor, your huge grin, as you greet everyone, Besever Panim Yafot. I may have taught you in the sixth grade, but your curiosity to know and your intellectual aspirations are unforgettable, from your Greek-themed Mishloach Manot after studying mythology, to your vast interests that encompass Torah, Mada, math, and anything in between. You are definitely unforgettable, and I still appreciate your short stories in which I was often featured, sometimes, as the antagonist. Wishing you only the best and great Hatzlacha in your future endeavors. Continue to think outside the box. I truly appreciated it. It's always a pleasure to teach students like Shula Hoffman. Uh, Shula would come to class with a sense of humor and a lot of energy. He was very focused on his work and he took great pride in his completed projects and this really impressed me. I hope Shua has a great summer and good luck to him in upper school. <laughs> 